Hey everybody, my name is Andreas Kretz from LearnDataEngineering.com and today is all about data migration. My guest Arokyo Nirmal is an expert in data migration with a lot of years of experience. He's the founder of cptech.de where he's doing consulting for companies in data migration and he's also doing coaching for students where you can learn that skill. If you want to follow him, I put the link to his LinkedIn and also the link to his company page in the description of this video. So, hello, Arokya. Hi, Andreas. Nice to have you here. Uh, yeah, maybe we start with you telling us a bit about yourself. Yeah, sure. Uh, actually, first of all, thank you very much, Andreas, for taking this time and having me uh, with you. Uh, so, and also, thank you very much for your nice introduction. introduction. Uh, so, my name is Arokya Nirmal. I am a data engineer and based in Germany. Uh, I live with my family in near Karlsruhe in Germany. Uh, so basically, I started my career as a data warehouse tester and developer back in the year 2012 uh, So uh, in India. So after that, I came to Germany for doing my master's. Uh, so since then, I'm working in Germany as like data engineer, database developer, DevOps consultant, and several other data uh, like consultant roles. At present, starting uh, January this year, I started my own consultancy called Cipitech where I will be offering consultancy and uh, like coaching services to indi individuals and, uh, and other companies out there on data engineering and database migrations. So you're specialized on database migration. Like what, what is that skill? What is database migration? Yeah, to simply put uh, a database migration is a process of transferring or like moving data between different database systems. Uh, the database systems might be of uh, same type or different uh, storage type uh, uh, and different formats and so on. So it actually involves moving off a schema data like tables or indexes uh, and like data to other database while ensuring data integrity and minimal downtime. So why is this then such an important skill to have right now? Is this something super, super needed? Yeah, I can think of a couple of uh, reasons uh, from my experience, basically. So the first thing is business or like technology evolution. So companies often, uh, they want to like migrate databases when they upgrade their systems or change their business requirements or want to leverage uh, like new database technologies. Uh, for instance, a company might want to move from traditional on-premises database uh, to like uh, cloud solutions for better futures, you know, security and scalability and so on. Uh, the second reason I see something like, uh, uh, like data unification. So like during mergers or uh, acquisitions, uh, companies often uh, they need to consolidate their database requiring seamless database migration to avoid uh, like disruptions to their business operations. Um, yeah, so like businesses with multiple databases might also want to consolidate their data into a single centralized uh, system, which is also known as a single version of truth. So you would say every company needs needs these people? Yeah, so like, so like whichever company relies on databases, they of course uh, like need uh, some specialized uh, person in database migrations. And you have worked for some time now on this topic. Like, can you Can you tell us a bit about your experience in that? Yeah, in one of my initial projects, uh, so uh, I was made in charge of building a data warehouse from scratch. So we have like different sources of data, something like OLTP databases and like CSV files and flat files. So they asked me to build a, a, like, a, like a data warehouse where like sales and marketing team uh, can see this uh, like reports in business intelligence tool. So like what I did was, uh, so this this OLTP database was based on Microsoft SQL Server. So I took a SQL Server integration services, exactly. So in my first job as to build uh, ETL jobs uh, that takes the data from OLTP databases and like different data sources and like populate uh, this data warehouse. I actually like automated the stuff over there and I also like implemented uh, testing everything uh, from scratch. So that was my first data migration project, if you remember correctly, that's very back, that is like eight or nine years ago. And recently uh, I did a database migration project uh, for one of the big companies uh, in Germany. So what we did is we migrated uh, their uh, like on-premises SQL server 
to like AWS Aurora MySQL. So I used like database migration services and schema conversion tool uh, to accomplish this database migration process. Uh, the thing is like in uh, in my past ex experience in every job, uh, whether I work as database engineer or database uh, or like data engineer or like database developer. Uh, so, so there was this a specific part of the job where I had to do like database or data migrations. Are there then some like some core pillars to this that people should learn? Because as you said, it's a, it's a skill that sooner or later, you're going to need it. Uh, actually, that's an interesting question. Uh, so I can actually think of uh, five key aspects, uh, something like foundational knowledge, uh, then migration tools and technologies, uh, security, and then testing and validation. And um, at last, I would say like post-migration optimization. Uh, to make it much simpler, uh, maybe we can uh, think of an example, like we have a shop or we have a store, maybe in Frankfurt, Germany. So we, we run this uh, shop uh, for more than two years now. And uh, over the recent days, uh, we see like our shop is getting traction. So like a lot of customers really like our shop. And uh, like during the weekends, there is like a lot of crowd. Nowadays, we could not able to manage. Uh, so like, what do we do in this case? So as like management, uh, we will plan uh, like, okay, we want to build a new shop. Okay, then to build a new shop, we need to choose a nice location. We need to choose like materials uh, and so on to construct the building. Uh, so like this is kind of like a foundational knowledge, like understanding databases, data modeling, and I would say SQL. And then once we have everything planned regarding materials, location, and so on, uh, so we need a strategy uh like how we are going to move the items from our current shop uh, to the new store so we can uh, we can also do it uh, like step by step or uh, we can like uh, transfer things everything at one shot we need to package the things from the old shop and move it to the new store we need to find some kind of uh, i would say transportation service maybe a very uh, like big truck uh, and a safe truck so this can be related to like uh, migration tools and strategies. There are different types of migration strategies, something like big bang migration, trickle migration phased, and then zero downtime like migration strategies. And then we have this ETL tools that uh, does the job of packaging the items from the old database and putting it in the new database. And then, of course, we have this migration tools. Those are like transportation, uh, which uh, really like um, enables us to move uh, uh, our like data very fast between old and new database. And of course, uh, the next pillar or like next key aspect, I would say, is like security. During this database migration and after the migration, we need to ensure that no unauthorized personals uh, can access the data. Like in our example, um, so like any thieves uh, or like uh, unauthorized person should not steal a data from our uh, sorry steal uh, the items from our shop from our from our new store we need to ensure security uh, and the next thing uh, the next as aspect is testing and validation we need to make sure uh, that the count of like items uh, that we transferred between the old and the new store remains the same and also none of the items are like broken or like damaged. And the final uh, like pillar would be like, um, like optimization, uh, like after a post migration, uh, we need to optimize our like new shop, uh, like so that uh, we can gain a lot of business value from it. So I would say uh, like these are the core pillars of database migration. Okay. Okay. There, there are a lot that I have heard. And I've uh, also I'm teaching to students, but yeah, it's it's not that easy, right? Yeah, yeah. From like bigger perspective, it seems to be a simple task. Like yeah, it's migration, just a just ETL job, something like that. Uh, but uh, yeah, I can tell you from my battle scars. Uh, yeah, sometimes we had like major issues, and we 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 overcome it uh, in like very like difficult way after learning a lot of lessons. So yeah, yeah, it's like very much critical for the business. So for for anybody who doesn't have that skill right now, what are the prospects of somebody getting that skill or having that that, that specific skill of data migration? 
uh yeah i would say advancement in the field of data engineering or like data management either it can be a full time or freelancing job so database migration is like very very important skill in these fields and you know the experienced professionals can receive really like high salaries uh, and also they could work for variety of companies as i told earlier every company that relies on a database is a potential empro- employer uh, from established enterprises to cutting edge startups um yeah so and also i have seen uh, uh, like companies uh, they actually go to an external consultancies or like other experts uh, for specifically doing this database migrations uh, uh, and the internal teams uh, they will work on developing etl jobs or like data pipelines so when uh, when one uh, can show uh, the potential employers that they are uh, like uh, expert level knowledge in this database migration of course the employers are going to get attracted when they show uh, uh, something like a nice project about where they implemented this database migration where they planned this and also like uh, where they automated the testing strategies then it's going to be uh, like really attractive for the future employers hmm. so for future employers but also for advancing in the company that you already are because you are going to have more opportunities there yes of course So with Cipitech you're doing this for companies but let's talk a few words about actually teaching this to people. How are you teaching this to people? Yeah, uh, so basically um, my coaching program uh, is like more flexible and it uh, spans uh, like 6 weeks. Uh, so the week uh, like 1 to 4 I want to concentrate on like different aspects of like uh, uh, data or database migration. For example, the first week uh, we are going to go through about common challenges faced in database migrations, and like uh, you know, like uh, planning for a migration and the risk assessment and so on. And also, uh, we are going through over the case studies, uh, like showing successful or fa- or failed uh, like database migration projects. So the first week is more or less kind of theoretical. Uh, and we have some couple of like hands on like uh, going over the case studies and week number 2 we are going to concentrate on tools and technologies for database migration uh, for the sake of simplicity i took uh, 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 for this uh, like coaching i took this aws dms service and the schema conversion tool uh, so uh, i will be having uh, pre recorded videos to show the learners like what are these tools and how can they use it and uh, i will also like give the learners something like terraform templates so that uh, they can create uh, their own uh, like infrastructure for this project uh, in maybe in aws and they can also use other pro- other cloud providers of course i'm going to support them uh, and in the week 3 we are going to do a demo project and sk- on schema and the data migrations and i'm going to teach them the monitoring strategies uh, so like error debugging mechanisms and so on uh the fourth week i am going to completely dedicate this for testing and test automation because this is one of the critical part i saw in my previous experiences that companies uh, like oversee so where uh, we don't have a dedicated automated testing architecture uh, so we are going to do some testing and we are going to do some automations using robot framework uh, on like pytest and great expectations python libraries and so on and week 5 and 6 is completely dedicated uh, for a capstone project so the so that, uh, here the learners can bring their uh, like own uh, like topic or their own problem which they face currently i mean the database migration problem uh, so they can uh, like work on this uh, uh, like capstone project for a couple of weeks and uh, like one more thing is every week i, am, I will be having this one to one session uh, with the learners Uh, where uh, i will be personally monitoring them their current uh, like progress and i am going to help them with their challenges and of course my coaching program is completely like uh, flexible uh, the learners can uh, like do their uh, like demo projects or uh, their work at uh, at their free time so so here basically i would expect uh, something like 10 to 15 hours of like uh work per week to successfully complete this coaching program what are the prerequisites that people should have for this because i i guess that's a bit of the same than doing this for a company or in a company like what's what are the prerequisites 
so for this coaching program i would expect basic knowledge in database development or administration uh, of course proficiency with sql scripts and like basic knowledge in python uh, would be nice since we want to do this test automation and also basic understanding of git and infrastructure as code uh, something like terraform so would you say this is for this is something you anybody needs to do this or to get into this topic uh, yeah yeah as i told they don't need to be like proficient on all this topic i'm going to help them uh, along the way uh, but if they could uh, know already like a, something like what is infrastructure as code uh, like what are python libraries then it would uh, it would really help uh, me to like fast track their learning experience of course this coaching program um, i can uh, like you know make it flexible for individual persons but uh, for me to, uh, to to make them gain expertise uh, in a faster and in a smooth way i would expect them these prerequisites how far do you think would they be able to go with this program when designing this uh, like coaching program uh, so like my goal uh, is to equip learners with the skills and knowledge uh, to become proficient uh, uh, like database migration specialist so by the end of this coaching program one will be able to you know grasp important concepts of database migration and also migration strategies and security best practices and also utilize database migration uh, like tools and also testing uh, tools to automate and streamline their everyday work uh, and last but not least tackle the real world uh, like migration projects that sounds awesome um so where can people find you where should they go rokia they can find about this coaching program uh, on uh, my company's website it's called cptech.de uh, 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 and still we have an, another easier way in my linkedin profile uh, under the featured section i pinned uh, the link to the coaching program so uh, the learners can uh, like buy this coaching program anytime uh, we can even start immediately very cool yeah i'm going to link this in the youtube video below as well your linkedin and cbtech uh, homepage yeah Arokia, thanks for being here it was great talking to you good luck on your endeavors same here andreas and like thank you very much i really appreciate uh, your time uh, for me yeah. so yeah good luck to you too yeah thanks bye